A heart murmur isn't a disease, but murmurs may indicate an underlying heart problem. We spoke with Dr. Gera Morchi at Children's Hospital of Orange County and asked her to explain what a heart murmur is. A heart murmur is a sound that we hear when we place the stethoscope on the chest. It's usually a whooshing or a swishing sound made by the blood flowing through the heart. Heart murmurs are quite common. About 50% of children at some point in their lives will have a heart murmur, but it doesn't mean that it's an abnormal heart murmur. So we can distinguish normal murmurs from abnormal murmurs by their intensity, by the loudness and how loud it is in the chest, by the position where we hear it on the chest best, and then we can decide whether it sounds like an innocent or benign murmur or a pathologic murmur, which is abnormal. If the murmur is abnormal, then we also look at other symptoms that the child may be having, such as in infants, you, um, you can have shortness of breath with feeding or poor feeding. Uh, an infant may not be thriving or gaining weight well, and that can be concerning for an actual heart problem. If we hear a murmur that is concerning, the first test that we would do is an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart. It's painless, it's non-invasive, and it gives us pictures of the heart so we can see the anatomy as well as the heart function. Another test that we may do is an electrocardiogram, which measures the electrical activity of the heart. And again, that also is non-invasive, painless, it just involves little stickers on the chest, and we're able to measure the electrical activity of the heart. Some defects can be followed conservatively and we can just watch and wait and allow the child to grow and get bigger. And some defects require early intervention such as heart catheterizations or heart surgeries depending on the actual defect. Most cases of congenital heart disease are sporadic. There is just a certain number of children born every year with congenital heart problems. There are a few cases that are familial and we tend to uh, screen those patients early knowing that things run in families and uh, look out for certain problems. Dr. Morchi told us how she feels the future will be for treatment of heart problems. I think the future of congenital heart disease is really changing in terms of the ability to diagnose problems much earlier than before. There are um, better techniques at diagnosing congenital heart problems as a fetus and being able to intervene upon the fetus to try and change the outcome. Also, we have better imaging techniques once the baby is born or even throughout adulthood, being able to image the anatomy better, the function better, to be able to look for earlier signs of dysfunction. We can do heart valve replacement in the cardiac catheterization laboratory now which is far less invasive than doing an open heart surgery to replace a heart valve. And we can do that in children as young as 10 years old at this point, which is a huge advance, and I expect that that will continue to, to, to happen and to, uh, to advance the field.